Hey guys, it's Nicola with your monthly tarot reading for August 2018. These are general readings, guys. They will not resonate with everyone. Make sure that you check your sun, moon, and rising. For those of you that would like to purchase a personal read from me, you can hit me up on my email, intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. You can also hit me up on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net, to check out all of the services I offer. If you guys would like instant access to me 24 hours a day, you can gain that through Instant Go. Type in www www.instantgo.com slash instant wisdom or you can also download that on your app store for my iphone ios if you're new to my channel please make sure you hit the red subscribe button on the side as well as the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i do my whenever i do my new reads hello it's nicola so we'll be working on cancer for august 2018 let's see what messages we got for cancer sun moon rising and venus august 2018 what messages energies what do we have? Something not coming. To, come on now. Y'all gotta come on. <laughs> Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. August 2018. What message do we have for Cancer? All right. Let's go. Four of Wands is an underlying energy. Ooh, new opportunity. Ooh, y'all got some new love, a new person coming in very fast, ready to work towards something, moving towards something, healing, plus past some type of challenge. So some of you guys have healed past some challenges. There's a new opportunity being presented, a new opportunity for love to change your life. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. You really have the modest touch to go after this situation. So something has changed because... In the beginning of August, you're going into August with a brand new opportunity, a new stability, new goals, new relationship, new, some of you guys, new jobs. It's like you're getting a life overhaul. I like that. I think I'm going to put that. Y'all deserve it. Y'all been through a lot. All right. New opportunity. Awesome. Some of you guys, um, you guys are... This is these are new opportunities in love. Stop, put it down. New opportunity, my kid. Um, my little cancer over here. <laughs> new opportunities in love, new opportunities. Um, for some of you guys moving. I do see a move. So some of you guys may be getting a new home, moving toward a new home. There is some movement. Um, new opportunities within job. You're being recognized for all of your hard work. This is in the center of the read. So you are still you're still working, you're still building. Some of you guys are working on healing working on getting through challenges obstacles um some of you guys obstacles dealing with children um i do have children here so there are some obstacles dealing with children there's someone new page of wands this is a new person coming in very very fast very passionate knight of cups knight of wands they got a lot of passion and they coming in and they're offering this cup of love there's some healing that has to take place. There's some truth that has to, that needs to be spoken. So there's a lot of work that's going to have to go within this beginning, within this opportunity. But I think it's worth it. You guys may be dealing with a Virgo. And this Virgo may be telling you they want you to move forward. There may have been some secrecy surrounding this situation with this Virgo here. Because I see seven swords here. Maybe some deception. Um, and you guys are working past that, working um to heal that healing any impulsive actions you're healing your heart as well so some of you guys this person is coming in and kind of healing whatever has affected you afflicted you put you at a, at a disease if this is not a person this is a job you're being recognized with the king of pentacles this is a boss um seeing your balance, seeing your dedication, your cooperation, and you're being recognized for your work. So some of you guys are getting a promotion. But this is definitely a lot of good things going on for you guys, August. This is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. This is like a whole 180 from the last read that I the last couple reads that I've been doing for cancer. Alright, so with this ace of wands, like I said, this is a new opportunity. This is God handing you your olive branch. You got a whole new life here. Reconstructed world. So let's see, let's clarify and see why this is here. Let's, I'm going pretty fast because this is a really good read. I usually try to, you know, focus more in on the cards um, that you're working on healing. Very, if you're not confident, you should be. 
because this is the energy that's surrounding this read or this is the person that's bringing this this energy to you that's balancing out your emotions helping you work through your emotions work through these challenges work through this riffle that you've been in this person is coming in to heal you so this is a healer or this is a virgo or this is i believe it's a virgo so i got the king of pentacles here with the, with the, the hermit this person is like offering you a whole new life. All right, so let's see why this Ace of Wands is here. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Why is this Ace of Wands here? Ace of Wands. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Whoa, judgment. Ooh, okay, so there has been some severances. Um, Three of Swords is the underlying energy judgment card. You've woken up. You've seen the truth of a situation. Um, but now there's an opportunity to celebrate here. Someone could be coming back. But I kind of think this is an, an opportunity for love. This is an opportunity to change your life. This is a celebration of coming together. Um, it's a brand new opportunity. There has been some severance, though the three of swords so something you you had to sever some type of situation or something some of you guys this is a job um an uh, idea a career maybe even a third party here with the judgment the three of cups set, severing the third party situation um to awaken to this new opportunity king of pentacles possibly taurus capricorn virgo this speaks about having confidence within yourself understanding that you do have the midas touch like king midas everything he touched turned to gold so this is the embodiment that maybe you need to um have or the person that's coming towards you with this knight of cups has and this knight of wands energy because this this knight of wands and knight of cups energy is surrounding this king of pentacles and this person is probably a very like they very much into their work if not them it's you and maybe this is a form of healing for you so let's see, why is this um, King of Pentacles? Because some of you guys, this is work. You're working a lot, working on your foundation, got some new things starting within your career, and this is where you find your balance. We are doing the love read after this, guys, so stay tuned for that. King of Pentacles, why is this King of Pentacles here? Knight of Cups, this King of Pentacles is bringing the Knight of Cups. This is a secret. This is something that you um, manifested, but this is a secret. So maybe you've overcome a situation to where there were multiple people involved and you chose to go toward love. Knight of Cups, High Priestess, you're going toward this, this knowing of love. You know that this person loves you. They, they know that you love them and they're offering you something. They're offering you stability. They're offering you like everything that they own. There are so many pomegranates in this picture. It's like they're offering you life. And I think you're going to take it. There is some healing that's going to take place, some truths that need to come out. But this is what you've manifested. You wanted something loving. You wanted some love. You wanted true love. And this is what you're getting. Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Why is this Knight of Cups here? Queen of Wands. Eight of Cups. Yep. You walked away from whatever was not serving you. Tower card, maybe found out some information. Um, but suddenly, you know what it is that, that you want. Suddenly, you're driven. So this proposal, you're kind of looking at this in a, in a different light now. This is like really realizing that this is for real. <laughs> Eight of Cups, you've walked away from whatever was, was not fulfilling you. For some of you guys... With this proposal, you may still walk away and decide to concentrate on yourself. Maybe you don't trust this person. Um, I do see a lot of healing and a lot of building. So I kind of think even if you don't trust this person, there's a lot of building that will come from this situation. Um, I kind of think this person will kind of break those barriers down. But the underlying energy, the reason why this proposal is coming is because you have walked away. And this is very quickly. This person is coming in with this proposal very quickly. Page of Cups. I mean, Page of Wands. Page of Wands. You may not trust this person. You may feel like this person is trying to charm you. Um, yeah, you ended something. There's someone new. You feel like this person is trying to charm you. So you're, you're really trying to be sensible about this, but they're coming in very strong. You're trying to be sensible. You're trying to make the right decision. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. You're trying to balance out the situation, make sure that you're not rushing. Um, but this person is coming in extremely strong, and I kind of think you're going to give in because I do see some impulsive actions here. But ultimately it may work <laughs> yeah you're gonna move it very fast with this individual yep yep 
tarot card is the underlying energy knight of wands we got the, the world card and the two of wands to clarify this so you're going into a new partnership a new partnership this is someone new you're going into a new partnership very quickly chariot card it's, it's, it's successful too um but i do see a lot of worry here eight of pentacles maybe trying to work maybe feel like you need to be um this is kind of like reward for some of you guys this is you've put in your work you put in your work you've had your heartache you had your pain you've learned your damn lesson so now you're getting the benefits of this with the eight of pentacles eight of pentacles why is this eight of pentacles here why is this eight of pentacles here no more illusions you're working to free yourself from the illusions from being um you're trying to balance out your 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 self balance out your desires balance out your life you're working on healing and this energy is coming in very very fast with the knight of wands and with the seven of cups here you're trying to look through the illusions and be sure that you're working toward the right thing so for a lot of you guys you're going to slow this down with the hermit card you're going to go within page of swords you're going to challenge the situation you're going to ask questions you're going to investigate before you move forward because you want to make sure that you're making the right decision and a lot of you guys are really trying to balance the situation out you're not just jumping this person is coming very fast and once you get the answers you need you're going to go forward then the opportunity of love you're going to question it because this person may come very impulsively as well um very driven sexually okay so you're gonna you might give in and then you might be like wait what are we doing okay because i just got out of a situation i don't want to get back into a fucked up situation so you might pump the brakes for a minute hermit card go within try to see figure out whether or not this is the right path for you um ask some questions with the page of swords put a stop to some things um slow some things down but ultimately you're going to get to this peaceful place you're going to move to a better place emotionally mentally and physically and with the ace of cups as the outcome you have a new opportunity at, at love in august all right so let's see or a new home you could be moving as well six of swords some of you guys could be moving quickly um with this person moving in like into a home four of wands is an underlying energy this is a home some of you guys could be moving into a new home will of fortune something's changing you're moving forward no more burdens ten of wands there's a lot of there's a lot of cloudiness a lot of distraction a lot of um chaos within this situation so i kind of believe you guys are rapidly moving to a new situation maybe moving into a new home new state um there may be children involved but with the hermit card this is talking about healing searching for the way searching for the right way so maybe some of you guys can kind of take some time to go within to make sure that you're making the right decision for all parties involved before moving forward the hermit card this is about taking a step back and reevaluating, going within, praying even for the direction. Why is the hermit card here? Yeah, because you're very, yep, yep, yep. You need to take your time, okay? Take your time. Six of Cups, this does have something to do with children, or this is someone from the past, but you're searching for um, some type of balance in regards to children, a child, your childhood, someone from six of cups this could be a soulmate um situation with divine time and that maybe it's healing you so this could be twin flame as well healing type of situation but temperance and the hermit you need to take your time these both talk about taking your time really searching for the correct way to do something he's cut my grass like three times this week all right so with the ten of wands and the nine of swords there's a lot of burdens, there's a lot of obstacles, there's a lot of stresses. You're really stressed out about this change. That's why you need to take your time. You may feel like you're being rushed. Make sure you take a step back, reevaluate the situation, and do and make sure that you're doing what's best for you, Cancer. Okay? No one else. Page of Swords. Why is this page of swords here? Why is this page of swords here? I don't understand. Yep. So some information you've been working um, in secret on this, this may come to light um, or someone else has been working towards something in secret that may come to light. Someone may have been deceptive um, about maybe love, about a relationship. This can also be issues dealing with a child maybe being deceptive. The page of swords here with the seven of swords. This is finding out the truth about someone um, being deceptive. Or working on a deception, being deceptive at work. Someone's getting caught up in their lie. So, 
you may search for some answers to something before moving forward and someone may get caught in a lie and they may be the closure that you need for something because after that something new starts ace of cups why is this ace of cups here Ace of Cups. So you're finding the strength to overcome some type of attachment and gain your independence emotionally and move forward. So whatever it is that you find out, maybe I uh, maybe toward the second week or toward the end of August, I'll do when I do the mid month, we'll see where it is. You're gonna find out something about someone that may have been deceptive, um, maybe a chapter in your life that was not closed, maybe revisiting. Um, Mentally, you're moving forward, but this information may come out of nowhere. And this will be like the seals to move you forward with this Ace of Cups into your independence. Okay. So, let's see what we have. And we're going to do the um, couple spread a little bit different. It's the same format, but instead of me going, I'm going to just put all the cards out. And then I'm going to speak about the relationship because we're on the time of the train right now. <laughs> all right. So... Mm. God the lovers card. This is for Cancer couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 2018. What messages do we have for Cancer couples in regards to their relationship, their partner, and the outcome? Five, five, five. Y'all know what I'm gonna do. In regards to the relationship, August 2018, Cancer couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so you guys are confused about which direction to go, go in. You're confused. This is making you look deceptive because you can't make a choice. You want to end an attachment and move toward what it is that you've been waiting for. This new opportunity, this isn't, uh, in the general read, I kind of picked up on this. So some of you guys may still be kind of attached or attached to someone. Um, Someone may be begging for, begging for not a chance. I don't want to say a chance. Yes, yeah, someone may be begging for a chance either to move forward, a chance to work together, integrate. Okay, so let's start with you. You're very confused about which direction to go, which may make you look deceptive, or this could have something to do with some deception. Choosing between two people here with the Two of Cups and the Double card. Some of you guys could be dealing with um, a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, there was some deception between a love situation, maybe two people involved. Okay, yeah, this could be a situation where there was some, some deception and someone you may be confused about the deception or you may be in an illusion about the deception but with the three of wands and the page of wands in your partner's position they are waiting for someone to return because see this right here this person is returning back with this one to make the complete four so your partner may be waiting for someone to return from a third party situation, in a third party situation, waiting for the opportunity um, to move forward. There's someone here, the Three of Cups, Page of Cups. There's someone else here, Three of Wands, it's a lot of threes here. There's someone else here, and maybe you set up some type of boundaries toward this situation because you're aware of this, you're aware of the deception, but you're still needing to make a choice about the attachment. So you may be dealing with someone that you are aware is deceptive, aware has, because I got the Three of Cups is right under the Seven of Swords. So you're aware that this person are, because the Moon card is right under that, it may have been secret and now it's coming to light that this person was deceptive. Something is changing within this. With the Temperance card, there may be a loss of temper because it's in reverse. Or with the Temperance card, there's an imbalance within this situation. There's definitely an imbalance within the situation. Um, I do see an attachment here. Maybe even deception on your end because there's some confusion about which way to go. Um... Your partner, I don't think that there's confusion, but there are some boundaries. Someone needs to take control of the situation. Um, there's love in the situation, but there's also, I don't know if the, whew, we're going to pull some clarity. Star card, wish fulfillment. You do have wish fulfillment. I kind of believe um, there may be an Aries, uh, someone 
who is kind of very controlling within the situation. And the person that is controlling in the situation may be waiting for an opportunity to rejoin or reconnect with someone. And I believe that your partner is aware of this. Um, they're trying to either... You're both stuck right now, but something's changing, okay? Love is being offered. Either you're dealing with someone that's in a third party, they have either, um, they're in a relationship with someone, they're either in love with you and in a relationship with someone and needing to set boundaries to that relationship or are now beginning to set boundaries to that relationship, or you're in a relationship with someone and you're needing to set boundaries because there is some deceptive behavior being hidden or coming to light. Um, let's pull some clarity. All right, so why is the Seven of Cups here for Cancer? They're confused about which way to go. Seven of Cups, Sherry, we want for that. Yeah, Knight of Wands, because someone's coming in. Whoever's coming in, they're coming in. Put them, put them back in the room and leave them alone and take the vest off. So, um... Someone has options, but they don't know which way to go toward. So they may be sneaking um, toward someone they feel that they're attached to or the someone that they're attached to is sneaking toward someone else. Um, they may find out about this, okay? So whatever illusion is gonna come to light is what I'm getting. There's some low level energy here some sneaking, um, not being honest. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Eight of Swords. Someone feels trapped within the situation, wanting to move forward, not being honest, um, afraid of causing sorrow within the situation. Um, but there, this contract, it's a contract. Two of Cups, Devil Card, Seven of Cups fell on top of that. I mean, Seven of Pentacles fell on top of that with the Five of Swords. This is the contract. So someone's confused about which way to go or how to move forward away. Because with the Chariot and the Seven of Swords, you're trying to move away from deception or away from a deceptive energy. Maybe even just moving away from living in this fantasy with the Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, living in this illusion. You're trying to move forward, but you're unaware of which way to go or how to go. Maybe there's a codependency here. Um, let's see. Why is this silver card here? The emperor, yeah, there may be a codependency, and someone needs to set some boundaries because someone is with the seven of cups, um, maybe playing around, a little debauchery, whatever the cup, whatever the situation is, but it makes someone unhappy. Someone's not happy by the way that things are happening in this situation. There's a lot of sneakiness, a lot of deception, a lot of interference, a lot of sorrow, a lot of failure. Um, boundaries need to be set. Maybe this is a situation that was got that got into very quickly. Um, things were not. I don't know. Okay. Gonna turn those up. We're not gonna read those. We're gonna keep moving. All right. So, with your partner, like I said, they may be waiting on someone to return or someone to forgive. Three of Wands, Page of Wands. Why is this Three of Wands, Page of Wands? They're waiting for something to come in. Someone new to come in. So this could be your energy as well. You may be getting out of this lower level energy situation up here, this deceptive energy um, that's failing the, the Three of Swords, severing the ties within that situation. Okay, with the Three of Wands, you're taking a step back. You're trying to look at the situation sensibly. You're waiting um, to find some type of enlightenment. Page of Wands. Yeah, you're waiting to find some type of enlightenment. Your partner is waiting for someone as well. They may be cutting ties, um, calling the truce to the situation. Three of Cups, returning back to something else. Yep. Oh, give me one more. They've been holding on to this wish of returning. Queen of Swords. So your partner may speak this to you, um, let you know. You may already be aware of this, um, but they're letting it be known. No, 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 no. This isn't your party. This is the person that is coming towards you. They've been waiting for you 
to leave the situation and now you're leaving. So they're waiting for you to return back to them. They've been holding on, waiting for you to come back. You're their wish come true. That's why we got the Queen of Cups and the Emperor. They're taking control of their life, but they're they're waiting for you to take control. Queen of Cups, Emperor. Maybe this situation has something to do with um that's I get it. So this is why it's so confusing. I'm like, what the fuck? Like y'all both moving, but y'all coming together. That don't make no sense because they're moving from their situation from with their page of wands and this double card energy right here. They are new in your life. This is a new person that you've been waiting on. They've been waiting on you. Queen of Pentacles, you see this is more sensible. You've prayed for this with the Four of Swords. Double card here could be a Capricorn, but this can also be um, an attachment. Um, this person, Page of Wands, had some type of, um, yeah, Two of Wands, double energy. They had some type of karmic cycle that they were in, but they're coming back with this Three of Cups. So this may have been a third party once before, um, or not a third party, but maybe just a desire. And now this is a coming together. This person has waited for you. Four pinnacle star card. You're like that dream come true. You make them happy. Queen of Cups, Emperor. Why is this Queen of Cups and Emperor here? This is you setting boundaries. They're just waiting for you to come back. They were waiting for you to set boundaries to whatever situation you had. Yep, Emperor, High Priestess. Um, release the secrets, release the disappointment, and choose them, Queen of, Queen of Swords. They wanted you to choose them. And once you let go of the situation, Knight of Cups, Will of Fortune, Moon card, it's no longer going to be a secret. You're going to release the fears and go toward this happiness. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. I was like, what the you're not waiting anymore. So you may have waited. You may have, yep. This person may have offered you an opportunity before, um, but you may have been in a situation in a relationship with someone else. Yep. But now there's, you've ended that situation. Two of Wands, you're on your own. You're walking your own path and they're coming at you full speed ahead. Awesome. All right, some healing has to take place first, but I definitely see. So some of you guys have separated from your partner. You got this new energy coming in extremely fast. Just get prepared, get prepared, get prepared. All right, so let's see what's going on here. This is for my cancer singles. So a lot of this will probably reflect, reflect in the single reads, okay? See, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What messages do we have for my Cancer, Singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? August 2018. They single and ready to mingle. Cancer, Singles, August 2018. And 18. August 2018. Some of y'all are tired of being um, in this state of suspension. You're tired of being alone. I'm so tired of being alone. You've been praying, meditating, manifesting a change to a pinnacles. An ending to this loneliness. An ending to this back and forth mental conflict. You want to move forward with communication with someone new. Um, yeah, maybe a Gemini. There's someone that you're wanting to communicate with. You've been waiting a while. You've been waiting a while. Um, maybe nine weeks, nine months. Something like that two months, two weeks, getting two or nine. You've been waiting for some type of communication um, and they've been stagnant. They have not been moving. The four of swords in reverse, the wait is over. I do see some movement happening. Eight of wands right under that. Move it very quickly. You're gonna find out some truths. Um, you're gonna move forward after you take the blindfold off and look at the situation from a realistic point of view. Because I think what's going on, this may have been a situation, this is your wish come true, but the way that you're hoping that it can, you may not be the way that it happens, okay? Um, some situation you may have thought you would come across unscathed, but there is some questionable motives within this. Either you're questioning someone's motives or someone's questioning your motives in moving forward. So some communication has to take place. Someone may have been watching you, watching how you react within a situation, watching how you react within a um, romantic situation. There have been questions. So someone has questioned your motives, but that's coming to an end. A situation is balancing out and you're moving forward with a relationship, something that you've been waiting on, but there still needs to be communication. Okay. 
and whatever, however the situation was before, it was in balance. So now there's a need to take a step back, find your balance, and then move forward. There needs to be a transformation in the way that you guys are balancing out the situation or this relationship. So let's see what guidance we got. What guidance do we have? No, 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 no. What do Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus need to do August 2018 to bring more love in their surroundings? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for August 2018. Humility, okay? Some of you guys need to practice being humble. Understand that you are a unique individual. You leave your stamp of love on everything you do, but be humble, okay? It says you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are on the same are the same but on different paths so you need to understand that just because you are who you are in your greatness and in your glory does not make you any more or any less than anyone else okay we are all one so this is about getting some humbleness what the what what's that be humble <laughs> let's see what advice we have for my cancer and love cancer sun moon rising and venus August 2018. What messages do we have for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. August 2018. Flirt. This is says it literally says extend your lighthearted energy to others. So some of you guys need to practice um, being a little flirtatious, um, being open to energy. Some of you guys need to disconnect from the world, find your grounding so that you can be um, aware of who you're being open to as well. All right. So let's see what guidance we have for my cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I saw true love. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 2018. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I've been getting that the last couple weeks. So y'all may be encountered with a true love and don't even know that Cancer. <laughs> what do we got for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 2018. Bright future. It says stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. It says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving it. With fertility here, this does represent a pregnancy for some of you guys. With prosperity, this could be a pregnancy, an in, in, in impending pregnancy. So make sure you protect yourself. But this is also about giving birth to your ideas, starting new projects, um, and giving birth to new conditions within your within your life. With inner goddess, it says awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. This is all about appreciating who you are as a god on a god level, okay? This is about really awakening the god within or the goddess within that's all i have peace y'all